Question number four, the right honourable Winston Peters. Cameron's Question Johnson, number four. Sir. Too much happening, Mr. Speaker. Oh, we may, <laughs> we're very efficient here. <laughs> Question number this four, the question right Winston Peters. is to the Minister of Transport and asks what discussions has the national-led government had with Kiri Rail about plans for railways in Northland? Speaker. The Honourable Simon Speaker, Beaches. I meet with Kiwi Rail regularly and I discuss ways to improve the productivity of the rail network around New Zealand. That, of course, includes in Northland. Uh, in short, Kiwi Rail consider that the Northland's, uh, Northland's line uh, lines economics are challenging. This is because almost 99% of Northland's freight and 100% of passenger travel is carried on the roads. That said, uh, there are of course two return services per day, five days a week, uh, between Auckland and Whangarei, moving mainly dairy and forestry uh, products, and there are no plans to change that. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, has he raised with his colleague, uh, caucus colleague Todd McClay, the Minister responsible for Key Rail, or Key Rail themselves, any concerns about the level of maintenance or lack of it on the Whangarei to Auckland rail line? If not, why not? Good question. The Speaker. Honourable Simon Bridges. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, because, of course, uh, uh, we are investing very significantly in Kiwi Rail. Uh, indeed, in Vote Transport, $400 million over two years, biggest uh, single uh, item, some $3 billion into rail infrastructure. So I think this government has a very uh, proud record in infrastructure investment in rail. Supplementary question. You have it. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Well, Minister, if that's true, have, has he been made aware of the number of sections on the Whangarei to Auckland rail line that require trains to reduce their speed to just five kilometres per hour. Uh, the Honourable Simon Bridges. Well, in fact, I think overall the networks in uh, Northland are good in the sense that uh, the, the, the roading is working well. We've got very significant investments. The member well knows Puhoid Wellsford, not to mention uh, Bridges coming in that area. But, but what is also but what is also true, and I come back to it, is in Kiwi Rail, we are investing significantly in that business. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Is it the government's intention to close the rail line going up north from Auckland? The Honourable Sorry. Simon Bridges. Well, I say there's no plans to do that. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Well, if that's true, Minister, why are private businesses in discussion to meddle the Portland Railway shunt lines and to upgrade a Antarsile private feeder road to take over logging transport currently supplied by rail. Thank the you. Honourable Simon well, Bridges. I think, as I say, the basic issue here is a lack of demand on rail. 99% of freight is choosing to go by road. Uh, and so that is an issue that, as I've said very, I think, candidly in my primary answer, is why Kiwi Rail do consider the Northern Line's uh, economics uh, very challenging. That said, there are no plans to close it. But a question. Supplementary question, right, Honourable Winston Peters. When many of the logs to the Marismo chip mill in Portland used to come from Dargaville to Whangarei and out to Portland, but have stopped because that line has been shut down, uh, and today 50% of the logs still come by rail, why on earth would that shunt line be closed down and metal taking its place? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Well, Mr. Seagull, I think the fundamental point that, as a local member, uh, I still think it's right that the member raises is around uh, the capacity and the constraints in and out of Northland for the produce and the various things in that area. As I say, I think actually the network overall is performing very well. But it will get much better when we invest uh, uh, billions of dollars in the Puhoi to Wellsford uh, area. Question number five, James Shaw. Thank you, Mr Speaker. <clears throat> My question is to the